the keys for, for a good mask are good fit and good filtration. So when we talk about fit, we're talking about not having leaks around, especially around the cheeks and around the nose um, or the chin. And then with filtration, now we're thinking about upgrading from just your regular old kind of cloth material to something that has a filter in there, something, a type of material that's designed to filter out small particles. Mm -hmm. Um, there's, of course, there's N95s, which are used in healthcare, and those are available now. The fit is still really important on those. Um, there's also some alternatives from China and Korea called KN95s yeah, and KF94s. That's, that's what I usually wear just because it fits me well. Yeah, you want to find something use, that fits, yeah. and that's going to have very good filtration capabilities. So that's going to reduce your, the, you know, if you happen to be infected it'll without symptoms, it'll greatly reduce the amount of virus you're spreading into the air around you, and it'll protect you also. And then the, another type of mask is the, uh, the, well, I mentioned the cloth mask with the filter built in. Those are the main ones. The other thing you can do is we talked about double masking several months ago, mm -hmm. and that achieves good fit and filtration using two different masks. You get the good filtration from a surgical mask, medical type of mask, because mm -hmm. that material, um, melt blown, non-woven polypropylene, mm -hmm. uh, is designed to filter out particles really well, better than 95%. And then, but those really leak. You're trying to stick a rectangle to your face. Mm -hmm. You know, nobody's mm -hmm. face is shaped like a rectangle. And so the cloth, tight cloth mask over that helps improve the fit, reduce leaks. And so then you get good filtration and good fit from that combination.